initially I was showing symptoms of sciatica, I had constant back pains. The GP basically decided it, uh, there was something else going on, organised an MRI and a CT at our local hospital. At which point I had lost complete feeling of one leg and couldn't move it. Uh, about four weeks after that I was diagnosed with a Ewing sarcoma, which is a bone cancer, and it was in my spine. We were told from the outset that because of where the tumour was and how it had spread, it was inoperable. The type of cancer it was, it was very aggressive, um, very intrusive, and where it was meant traditional radiotherapy wasn't an option due to the amount of sensitive organs and areas that were going to be affected by the radiation. Proton beam therapy was something that we'd looked at, but we didn't even need to ask the question. Our consultant at John Radcliffe had already filled in the paperwork to apply for the NHS PBT scheme. In Ben's case, the advantage of PBT is that we can deliver the radiation, the proton beam therapy, to the treatment area and stop that um, proton beam therapy from going beyond the treatment area so it doesn't impact the surrounding healthy tissue. Um, and the advantage of that is further down the line for these um, young patients who are continuing to grow and develop, there are reduced long-term side effects. The treatment's a lot more precise. It can target the area they need it to be. It was what had to happen, it was the best route to go. Proton beam therapy, it is totally individualised for everyone. So across the pathway there's a huge multidisciplinary team involved in getting any one patient through their treatment. So I'm a clinical nurse specialist who looks after all the children and young people who have proton beam therapy at UCLH. So all those families have my phone number. I say I'm your right hand woman so if you need anything you ask me and if I can't answer it I'll find the right person that can. So I'm the one that links everybody together, the doctors, the nurses, the chemotherapy team, the radiographers and I say to the families I want you to be able to just look after your son or daughter without having to worry and let me do the worrying about everything else so you just look after each other and I'll take care of all the organisation behind the scenes. Ben had to stay in London for six weeks. He had to be in the close vicinity to the hospital at all times, so we then needed to look at accommodation. But again, as part of the NHS PBT, they actually put us up in accommodation um, in Camden. Stay Camden was really nice. It was modern, it was just on the canal, just across the road from the market. It was just a completely different environment from where I normally live. It was a nice experience. We ended up treating it like a holiday. Ben had already been through a fairly intensive chemo regime, so it was a, 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 a welcome change to uh, the regime and the uh, routine that we'd, we'd got into. As a national service, our catchment is quite large, meaning families and patients can come from quite far away, um, especially in the kind of young adult age group. That can be quite difficult because you're away from your friends and at that age, your friends are your, your core really, a, a core support for getting through a time like that. We always say it's the, the young person first and the cancer second. So what's important to that young person is that they maintain their friendships, their relationships alongside their cancer treatment. And so we facilitate them to have as much normality behind the scenes. So we do have a school at the hospital. So that school teacher will link in with their home school with video. Um, and so they can keep in contact that way with their friends. Patients will come in for treatment every day, Monday to Friday, generally. What is very important is positioning for treatment. Um, it's something we have a high focus on. We discuss this at a multidisciplinary team level of what way we would like them positioned that is reproducible every day. That's key to getting the accurate treatment delivery day in, day out. Like for me, I had a, like a shell around my body to keep me in the position I needed to be. But if you're like someone through your head, you'd have a head shell on. Once they've gotten that alignment right, they then take some pictures, place these pictures on top of the original planning scan and make sure that the position is in fact correct based on x-ray imaging. Once they're happy with this, they then step outside the maze and the treatment delivery is started. 
it, you don't feel a thing, you kind of just lay there with what's going on going on around you. He'd have headphones on, he got to choose his playlist when he went in there, and quite often he, he actually fell asleep. So he was fairly relaxed about it all, which was, from, from a parent's point of view, seeing your son waltz in there without a problem, it's very reassuring. I found it really interesting. I quite enjoy stuff like this. I find it all quite educational. It was something new, different experience. Ben loves the technology because it is it's, it's really interesting. Once you understand sort of how it works and what's going on, um, it's, it's, it is reassuring. Although Ben ended up quite tired and fatigued, there was no real major side effects. I would be in for PBT half an hour to an hour and then I'd be free reign on what to do the rest of the day. We were trying to do as much as we could just to make the most of the time in London but also to keep everybody distracted from what's going on a bit. The care team at the PBT centre, they had a lot of suggestions of things you could do and they're always on hand to answer any questions you've got. Everyone there's really nice. They're always friendly, there's always a smile. All of them stood out in their own ways. They're all laid back, but they're also very professional and deal with anything. I'm sure a lot of parents and probably patients will say it was a roller coaster, and it, it really is. It's a good example. Um, you have to focus on the positives and things like that as much as you possibly can, but it's, it's not easy. Yeah, there was nerves, but it's... Frame of mind, you just got to keep yourself positive, be relaxed and let it happen. So Ben has completed his PBT and as of last month, uh, we were told that his tumour is no longer showing signs of cancer. My body's just slowly now starting to get back to being healthy, building up muscle in my leg, building up my stamina and stuff again. Just a matter of time until I've slowly made my way back.